We love the chosen cast on this channel. Every video I make about these actors, you guys want me to do more. And who am I not to listen to you? In this video, I'll share some facts about the chosen cast that I never shared before. This took a lot of time and effort. I hope you enjoy it. Let's start, shall we? Vanessa Benavente was pregnant in season 3. Yes, Vanessa, who plays Mother Mary on the show, was pregnant with her second child while the filming for the third season was going on. She shared the details of her experience in an Instagram post. Apparently, the baby didn't let her film scenes properly. This season was particularly special for me as I was carrying my Amaya. She was kicking in the middle of scenes that made me forget my lines and I was continuously exhausted. Vanessa gave birth to a healthy baby girl in August 2022, a few months before season 3 came out. And she joined the filming of season 4 as a new mother. That must have been really difficult, but she did a wonderful job, didn't she? Luke Dimian is viral on TikTok. Luke, who does a great job playing Judas, actually has a very successful TikTok career. He has been uploading videos to the app for a while now, but recently he has started getting the recognition he deserves. Some of these videos are quite funny and not all of them are related to The Chosen and his character Judas. So I suggest you give him a follow if you're on the app. Oh, I love you. I love you, right? Shit is catchy. <laughs> Shit is very catchy. Jordan Walker Ross has a podcast. Little James is quite a multi-talented man. Not only does he take wonderful photographs of his castmates on set, but he also has his own podcast called What's Your Limp? As you know, Jordan is dealing with cerebral palsy and scoliosis in real life. And on his podcast, he interviews actors, musicians, and other public figures about their insecurities and coping mechanisms. The title of the podcast refers to the fact that everybody has a limp, but not everyone's is physical. I like that. Alal Safi is married and has two children. I actually found out about this while watching the latest Fife and Two Day livestream. Allah joined the live stream and talked about his personal life a little bit, which surprised me because the chosen actors rarely do that. Apparently, he has two little boys who do not let him go to sleep, so he has a better sleep schedule during the filming period, which I found funny. His wife is a lovely French lady who is currently an artistic director at a theater. It looks like they have been together for some time now and they look perfect, don't they? Jonathan Rumi plays the cajon. You must have heard Jonathan playing the drums, I have mentioned this fact in my previous videos, but this is the first time I am finding out about him playing the cajon aka box drum. He recently accompanied Matt Marr at a concert and played the instrument. In the Instagram post, he also revealed that he used to play the same instrument in an LA bar band for years to survive before he got the job on The Chosen. What a talented man. Austin Reed Allman is a composer and singer. Yes, every cast member on this show has a different kind of talent. It turns out Austin is an incredible musician. He recently composed a piece for a ballet theater. He also plays multiple instruments and has a great voice. I believe he is ultra special, but you can also decide on your own after listening to him. Here you go. Where were you when I was still coming? Brandon Potter does voiceovers. In fact, you probably heard him somewhere, but you don't remember where exactly. It turns out he uses that strong voice of his in a separate career. He has been using his voice in popular projects like One Piece on Netflix, which was huge when it came out, and Dragon Ball Z, which is also quite popular. Amy Bailey used to be a professional dancer. For those who don't know, Amy is Joanna on The Chosen. While I was scrolling through her Instagram, I saw this shocking picture of her and her husband. My brain doesn't even fathom how they shot this picture. But it turns out she had a dancing career for 15 years but then decided to retire. The same goes for her husband. They have been together for over 25 years and have three children who frequently visit her on the set of The Chosen. What a lovely family. Yasmin Al-Bustami used to work in finance. Before she became an actor, The Chosen's Rayma used to work in finance. She has a finance degree and worked in the sector for a few years but decided it was not for her. 
She sent her resume to an agent who recommended she take acting classes. She did and became a star. Her storyline is one of the biggest in The Chosen Season 4. Good for her. Vanessa Benavente plays in another Dallas Jenkins project. I started the video with Vanessa and I'll finish it with her. It looks like Dallas has a deep love and appreciation for Vanessa. For those who don't know, Dallas just shot a movie in Canada called Best Christmas Pageant Ever and he cast Vanessa for a role there. Vanessa talked highly of her experience on set and thanked Dallas for having her join the movie. I'm actually pretty excited about this movie because Lorelai Gilmore is going to be in it. Yes, Lauren Graham is also a part of Dallas's film, which is enough for me to give it a chance. I cannot wait. If you want to learn more about the chosen cast, there's a part one of this video. Go check it out. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon.